What's good? This is your boy, Mad Man. <laughs> Don't forget the Tate. Coming back at you with another video. I want to give thanks to, you know, the Most High God, our God, and all praises to Him. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about some things um, that people are not, well, they should be used to it by now. Um, but, you know, they don't want <laughs> to hear the truth, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about uh, a basketball player, ex-basketball player, named uh, Dwayne Wade. Mr. Wade. We're going to talk about the issues that he's having um, with his child. You have a son, you know, I refuse to address his son as a her, you know, so th that's the whole thing on his own. But he has a son that believes that he's a girl, right? So and people would say it's his life, you know, we hear this all the time. It's his life. It's what he want to do. But you know what? It's not his life. You know, I'm going to tell you. But first and foremost, it's not his life. It's uh, God's life. God owns us all. And it's God's world and his rules. And even if you exclude God out the equation or whatever, it's still not your life because you're still owned by someone. So you can never have your own life. There's, you know, So that's for the people to say it's his own life. You can choose to be whatever you want to be. Let's get to that too. So people say you can choose whatever, but then I think he said something like he knew that he was a girl at three years old. <laughs> I thought that was the most ridiculous thing to ever be said by, you know, one of the most ridiculous things to ever you know that is by a black man. That that was just ridiculous. Like, how do your son know that he is a girl? So if he knew that he was a girl, what were you doing at three? How were you parenting him at three? What see, people don't talk about this. They don't talk about the underline. Like, where did he get that concept from? Because my wife can contest this too. You pick up habits from somewhere. So if you knew or he knew he was a girl at three, what were you doing as a father when he was three? What were you exposing him to? So now I have to question your sexuality, buddy. <laughs> now, because everybody's not paying attention to what they need to pay attention to. What did you expose him to? Did you expose him to like some transgender, like freaky porn? What were you doing to Gabrielle Union? Like what were y'all doing? What did y'all expose that kid to? You know, and then didn't she make a remark about the, the buttocks thing? So y'all know what that means. Every man, what, 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 what did she say? Basically, she was just saying, like, um, you know how YouTube is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's on a Sunday morning, I believe. Whatever right. Sunday is on, that's what it's on. Uh, men shouldn't be ashamed to say that they like to have their uh, their pleasure in their bodies. Right. Like, that's what it's on. Men shouldn't be ashamed to say that they like to have their, um, you know, booty is maximus. Um, there we go. Pleasured by oral things. That's how to put that. Right. <laughs> no, possible. yeah, because you know, <laughs> you know how they get. So. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah. She said that men don't admit that they like it, but they right. do. And behind closed doors, they allow it to happen. Right. So I guess she's speaking for all the <laughs> guys out there that, you know, question their sexuality. Because only a guy that, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, that's just the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> like, so as a father, you know, as a father, how do you let something like that happen? Now we're going to get to the main topic. So it was some years back, quite a few years back, when he left someone who had his back and who was supporting him for years. And he left her for Gabrielle Union. And I remember the video where the lady was on the street and she had a sign and stuff like that and people were like downing her, remember? 
like they do all women who make these men be men. The women get down for it. But she had his back since high school. They may have even dated since middle school or something like that. It was crazy. And he left her in the dust once he got money, attention, and he got an actor, you know. And he got an actor that's not even worth much. Like, my wife never liked it. I never liked, like, for real, like, you know, we, we used to the Taja P. Hensons and stuff like that, and all the real black women, um, you know, just the real black women who don't be coons, like Tiffany Haddish and uh, Gail King and Oprah, these are all coons, Gabrielle Union, coon, like these coons, you know, nobody's going to stop me from saying what I want to say, I say what I want to say, you can't stop me, like Lil Boosie said, like, that's, hey, I, t <laughs> I tell people all the time, no knock to any other, like, state and cities and stuff like that, but Louisiana and California, like, we keep it one, like, we the, we keep it so real, bro, like, we the realest, like, we keep it so real, that's because we, we don't hide nothing, like, we are who we are, bro, like, we can, that's no not to, you know, the South, or, and, you know, like, the, like, Houston people and, just everybody, it's no not like everybody, you know, we got realness everywhere, but Louisiana and California, I feel like Louisiana, everything started in Louisiana. A lot of, you know, they don't get a lot of credits and stuff. And then uh, a lot of stuff started in California, you know, but we intertwine with each other. But I'm going to take up for him all the way. Like he called him out. He was the only one to call him out, you know, and he needed that. He needed that. And people you know, attacking him for that. Like, he, he told the truth. Like, why would you let your son do that? Because when he turned 15, you know, in, in a year or two or three, and he decides to meet a woman, because everybody meet they soul, they soul made or whatever you want to call it. If he do chop his thing off, like, how is he, like, like the Game of Thrones. Uh, what, what was his name? Greyjoy or something like that? Theon Greyjoy. Theon, yeah. So, and he could, you know, even in a, like, who, who else? And what was that, the Game of Thrones, um, where the dude, like, where they cut the lady head off and then, um, he, he ain't had no penis and stuff like that. Yeah, you're right. That yeah. was Game of Thrones, too. That was, uh, the black guy. Yeah, he was on the lady with the dra that dragon queen. Yeah. I forgot, dude, man. Yeah, I haven't seen it so long. But that's what I'm saying. See how he wasn't able to. You like mate wear and stuff. He only could like do things sexual with his eyes. That's crazy, bro. And then you're gonna allow that. But like my wife said, he's just trying to attack, you know, the little boy's mother. It's it's a fictitious, vindictive thing that he's doing. He just wanna get back at her. You know what I mean? Cause we all like if we all know what's going on, we're not blind, bro. Like we know that like you're just a nothing type of dude. That's why, like, I was so happy when he fell, like, when he tried to celebrate and jumped on the table and slipped and fell. It, like, God just, when they say he works in mysterious ways, he does. Like, he always embarrassing himself. <laughs> Seriously. First, he had the meme with the, the weird laugh he did. Then, you know what I mean? He fell on the thing. And, like, now he's, like, doing this to his son. Like, stop embarrassing. You did that to your wife. That was embarrassing. Like, you just done, you promised you was gonna bring seven rings and only brought two to Miami. Like, bro, like you just a clown. You know what I mean? Like you just a clown. And to do that to your son, that's your son. I have a son and he's mine. And I can bring him in here right now and ask him what he is. Like, what do you think you are, bro? You know what I mean? And I didn't like, I taught him morals, but he know the difference between a girl and a and a boy you know what I mean and like at three years old he said at three years old his son knew what he was at three <laughs> when I was three years old I thought I was like Superman right and I hear people say that all the time too like when kids are younger they we do cops and robbers we do all type of crazy stuff but then when we get older it's the real world and now people don't want to live in that real world we were told about. What happens with cops and robbers? What, why, like, what, where the robbers at? I remember being a robber. Wasn't your brother? They was robbers, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all played cops and robbers, right? Where did yeah. they put robbers at? In jail. 
okay, you thought you was, you know, I don't, I don't know, um, any Disney princess or whatever. Like, as a kid, you thought you was, what's that, Sailor Moon? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought I was Superman, Spider-Man. But what happens when we put on costumes and we run around? What do they do to us? They bring you back to reality. Like, okay, it's time to stop playing. Like, and we, and we say, this is who I am. I am Spider-Man. What do they do to us? <laughs> Where, they take us somewhere. They take you to the mental institution. Boom. <laughs> See? <laughs> like, so now it's like, okay, I want to be a little girl. And then you grow up and you're 12, 13 years old and that's okay? See what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm saying about America. America has no, like, type of morals. You know, they do all this, like, Greek mythology stuff. Because that's where it stems from. It's just Greek mythology. And the stuff that they used to do back then. Like, this man has literally turned his back on God. The Most High. Like, he literally turned his back to allow that to happen. Like, he's happy for his son to be a girl. Right? Even just from a realistic standpoint, though, like... So realistic. He feels it in his mind. is realistic. No, because obviously we know that children can't be Spider-Man, Superman, stuff like that. But, like, when I was little, I thought I was going to be a gymnast. Until I grew up and realized, okay, you don't have the talent to do that. So I had to come back down to reality. Even from a realistic standpoint, he... Realistically, he looks in the mirror and knows that he's not a girl. Yeah, realistically, that's why he try to. That's why people have to alter themselves. Why you can't be who you are? Why do you have? That's altering yourself. Thank you. It's modification. That's not who you are. So you want to try to remove body parts? And I'm glad who the uh, young thug. Mm-hmm. I'm glad he said God don't make mistakes. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That's real. You know what I mean? Like, I may not like rappers and athletes and actors and whatever. But when they say real stuff and they do real things, I'm going to acknowledge it. If it's coming from Young Thug, it needs to be acknowledged. Yeah, no, seriously, because he got a lot of flack for the dress thing. And it's like, the dress thing, I would never do it, right? But nobody paid attention to this, too. And I'm not taking a form. I'm just being real. Nobody paid attention to this. Everybody got on Young Thug for wearing a dress, but... Y'all can't give me one comedian but two main ones who haven't. Nobody made fun of Martin when he wore a dress. It was cool. He made money off of it. Nobody made fun of the Wayne brothers. Nobody made fun of Jamie Foxx. Nobody made fun of, uh, what's dude, um, Tyler Perry. Nobody made fun of Kevin Hart. Why didn't everybody pick on Young Thug? Because he was See, that's what I'm saying about society. Y'all pick and choose, bro. It's just not fair. You know what I mean? It's really not fair. I mean, he got a lot of flack for it. Whether he meant to do it, you know, or it was a ploy or whatever to get money, it doesn't matter. Nobody made fun of him. And I thought that was messed up. I don't agree with the dress thing. I could, me, I can never, you can never put me in no dress. I don't care how funny something is or whatever. I'm a funny dude. But a dress though? No, we're not doing that. You know what I mean? So, uh, and you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't understand. Like, as a father, how could you do something, like, so severe and damaging? You know what that does to a kid psychologically? To know that your dad let you grow up thinking you were something that you're not. You know, and I've seen this before. I've seen this way before, this way crap. I've got people in my family, well, you know, the third cousins and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that did that and like they let them play with like girl toys. This this is what God said too. Cause I, I don't wanna leave, you know, God out in the word. This is what he said, like things manifest in us. You know what I mean? That's why he told us, you know, for the children what to guard your heart and your eyes and stuff like that. Yeah. Cause kids are innocent. And what you expose them to, they started to believe because that's what they're developing. They're impressionable. Very impressionable, cause I was. You know what I mean? Like, everybody as a kid had that little moment where they did something like that wasn't what they, you know, they sex. Like, whether, it, you know, how we used to do the little whole, our mothers do this with the hand on the hip thing, and we used to do that. And they used to, no, don't do that. Don't put your hand. You know, they corrected it. You know what I mean? It's a lot of stuff, like, you know. But for him to, for a man to, allow his his son to you know to play with female toys and girl toys and dolls and 
allow him to think that he's a female, I think that's just sad, bro. Like, that's poor parenting. You have to set the celebrity bullcrap, money-making stuff aside. That's your son. Like, you're exploiting your son. You're selling your son's soul, and you don't even know it, bro. That's what happens when you get money. When people get money, they turn on God. They, they, they literally flip on God, bro. Like, literally. Like, people believe in God until they get money, bro. I bet he did a thousand prayers before he got signed that contract. Signed the contract and God was nothing. But God, he has his ways of humbling people. Remember that way, he has his ways of humbling people. Money can't protect you from everything. For real. Like, this ain't, like, people be, oh, they going after him for attention. If we wanted to go after somebody for attention, bro, we would go after Trump. Who is Wade? Most people don't even know who that is. You know what I mean? Like, when you tell the truth about people they don't want to hear, then you get the people in the comments talking all crazy. And I love it, though. Y'all keep coming at me. But you know I'm not lying. We can break it down. Biology. You can't, like, I tell people all the time. Find the, the molecule that shows that you're gay. Shows that you're, you know, the opposite sex. Find it. Find that molecule. Find it. Find that chrome, whatever. Find that piece. You can't do it. It goes back into psychologically. You know, but then I want to be Superman. I want to be all these things that I've seen growing up and then I'm labeled crazy. Ludicrous. I'm labeled like, <laughs> you know, I'm deemed like this horrible guy. But then... The number one money maker being the opposite sex. I can do that though. Anything to denigrate, especially a black man. Y'all don't pay attention, bro. Pay attention. Anything to denigrate a black man, you can get paid a lot of money for it. Giving your your your, your DNA away at them banks, um, wearing dresses, anything to dilute the dominance in us black men, you know. And even white people, they know, they see it, they agree. Y'all got to understand what's going on in the prisons and everything. We're going to get to all that, man. I just had to talk to Wade real quick. Because, like, the things that you're doing, people in this world will literally fight you and harm you for it. You feel me? Like, people, they was attacking people back then for nothing. Like, if you lost a, 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 a bet or, you know, one of those fights or, you know, something happened in the entertainment, they used to try to, like, harm these people. This right here, bro, you gotta, <laughs> you just gotta be careful, man. Like, you gotta grow up. You too old. I think he, what, 37 or something like that? 35? 35, something like that. Wow. 35, 36. You're too old, bro. You're too old. You need to grow up and stop letting Gabriel Union use all these spells and that magic on you, because I know that's what it is. She got your brain. Because I always thought you was a sucker. But when you met her, it's like she literally took your your suckinism. <laughs> she took that and she she elevated your suckinism. And no, seriously, like she put some type of like hex or some voodoo on you too. Like she talking about playing with what do you call it? Did you call it your a anus. finger? Your anal sphincter. Yeah, like what? I know they said it, but it's Kanye too. We're gonna get to him too. What's wrong? I don't know, man. I'm just getting weird even thinking about how a man let his his son be a, a female. I just, to me, that doesn't even make sense. Like, it's like, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Guys. No, talk, you talk to me. You stupid. Like, okay, I understand. Cause see, they use it in this sense. Like, oh, you got love and encourage No, 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 no. Why can't you nope. love and encourage your son to be who he is and accept who he is? And know that he's perfect the way that he is. You'll accept him not being mm -hmm. what he's supposed to be. It's deep. But when he wants to be what he truly is, you don't accept that. You no. want him to be something else. Yeah. Like, think of the logic in that. Like, as a black man, all the things that that poor child is going to have to go through in life, just being a black man in this world. You sitting up here talking about, yeah, I'm going to let him be something, a transgender. A transgender. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But if he came to you and said, oh, uh, yeah, I want to be... A transformer. Uh, no, he wants to be <laughs> um, a thief. He wants to be a professional thief. That's what he 
he wants to do for a living. No. That would be the worst thing they ever heard. Yeah, and only because society says. Yes, because society says so. Mm -hmm. But then, if he, he Robin Hood, for example. Yeah. He stole from the rich, gave it to the people. Yeah. Okay. If he said he wanted to be that, it would be absurd. It would just be outrageous. But he wants to be a woman, and that's normal. Where's the logic in that? I don't understand. Where's the logic in that? Okay. It's facts. I mean, we can stay on this topic all day, but I just... I really don't. I just had to make this video and uh, take up a little boosting and justify it. It was a guy that, um, and Young Thug and whoever else, I see some other stupid uh, artists up there taking up for him. I ain't got to say no name. Y'all know. Y'all see it. Um, it was another guy who made a video and he was asking his son the random questions. I should put that in here. He was asking his son the random questions and stuff like that. And his, his son was three. And, you know, his son kept saying, you know, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. It didn't matter what he said, you know? And then at the end of the video, he like, so high in the blank, blank, you know, he know what he is when he says yes to everything. Mm -hmm. Your job is to make him understand who he is. Mm -hmm. That's why I said you gotta question his morals, mm -hmm. his integrity, um, his spirituality, like that's questionable. It's in question, bro. That's what happens when you give when you give them money, they turn their back on God. And I'm gonna put a scripture in there too. But um, yeah, man, good job, little boozy young thug, and whoever else went against it. I know it was a lot. I just can't think of them off top. But uh, he definitely needed. And um, yeah, y'all come see me in them comments, y'all. I love to battle. I love to battle, man. I'm in warrior mode. Come see me in them comments. Let's break this. Let's break this down. Y'all, you people, they're going to look at this and try to say this. Oh, he don't know what he's talking about. He have the, the cat, you know, the mindset of a herd, and the intelligence. Let's go. You know, I wipe everybody clean, bro. That's what I do, man. But Wade, you know better. And I don't even want to talk about, like, his girlfriend. Because that's his girlfriend. Your wife is the one you left. That's your wife. There ain't no ex-wife. That is your wife until you die. That will always be your wife. Get back with your wife, man. Get to, get your life right, man. Because you're nothing without your wife. She doesn't want him. <laughs> she shouldn't, but I'm just saying, like, see what happens? See what happens when you lose your wife? You lose your life. <laughs> Bars. Hey, this is your boy, Man Man Tate. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think about the video. I'm going to be keeping y'all back and back and back, man. We, we up here because we losing our people. You know, I got to do this for our people, man. Hey, let me catch y'all in the next video. Peace. That was tragic. Let's try it again.